Hello guys, thank you for tuning in. Listen, I wanna just talk a little bit about Jay-Z and his six part docu-series, Time, The Khalif Browder Story. And I also wanna talk about some of his recent moves that he's making in the business realm. So first let me talk about uh, this story about Khalif Browder. For those who don't know, at the age of 16, Khalif Browder was walking home from a party. He was accused of stealing somebody's book bag and he was placed in jail, convict me, not convicted, but charged with second degree robbery. I'm not sure if it was armed robbery or just robbery. And, and because he would not plead to, you know, plead out, he, he requested a trial, which is his right, especially since he was saying that he was innocent. He, because he didn't plead out, he was placed uh, in, in Rikers Island Jail for three years. And reportedly, uh, around 800 of those days, he actually spent in solitary confinement. Can you imagine that? Your 16-year-old son, you give him permission to go to a party. He's walking home. The police pick him up on some bogus charge, they have no proof, no evidence, just somebody's word saying that he stole something. And then your child is sitting there in prison. Uh, now, this is the part that I want to speak to a little bit because number one, uh, before I go there, I just want to say that I applaud Jay-Z for picking up this story because it is important that, that as black people, we, we control our own narrative, that we tell our own stories and that we select the imagery and the types of stories that will be released in, in the public about us. And I think that this injustice that happened to this young man uh, needs to be highlighted. But one thing that I, I wanna talk about, because first of all, I'm a proponent of black people embracing technology as a career, or as a business. And also, um, I am a proponent of uplifting and celebrating Black families. Now, Khalif Browder was 16. He was in jail um, with a bail of $10,000. So for $10,000, he could have been out of jail. And I think that with a bail bondsman, he probably could have paid like a lower cost. But his family did not have that money. And that right there hits right at the heart of why I talk so much about technology. And the other reason why Jay-Z is in the news is because he has started a venture capital fund. And let me go into that a little bit. By the way, if you are interested in building a business or a career in technology, you can get some free information at blacktechguide.com. And of course, you can look at a myriad of courses and um, on, online webcasts at blacktech with a K lab.net. So, anyway, Jay Z is starting a venture capital fund, which is, is really awesome. He's already been investing in technology since 2016. I'm sorry, not 2016, 2012. He and Beyonce have a nice little portfolio. And just to let you know, one of his quotes, he says, technology is the fashion of the 90s. It affects everyone and everyone is interested in it, either from fear of being left behind or because they have a real need to use technology. Now, of course we know Tidal is a tech-based business. And what I say at Black Tech Lab, that net is technology is your business. If you don't have a business with a strong technology component, well, you're going to be out of business. And soon, if you have, if you don't have tech skills that you can use in the form of a career, likely you won't have a career. But anyway, to just go into what his uh, tech investments are, Devialet. I don't know if I'm saying this right. It's a high-end auto, I mean, a high-end audio integrated base on a hybrid amplification technology. 
Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but Aspiro is the media technology company that works with Title to provide music and content. So that's a streaming service. And then he's also invested in uh, Uber, a company called Axios, and three other stuff. I'm sorry, not a company called Axios. He's invested in Uber and three other startups. The high-tech luggage maker Away, the nail parlor company Julep, and the private jet startup Jet Smarter. Then you have Beyonce, who is actually invested in uh, wa Watermelon Water, which is not exactly tech, but they are using food tech to create watermelon water. They are using watermelons that would normally just be thrown away. And um, so they're taking food waste and turning that into reusable fuel. And she also invested in the app called Sidestep. It's an app which allows concert goers to order merchandise at concerts through their phones and collect their merchandise uh, before, during, or after the event without standing in line. So they have a number of tech investments. And I bring this up in relation to the Khalif Browder story because economic strength in the Black community is a must-have. We need economic strength in order to have more protection for ourselves, our loved ones, our families, our children. When we have uh, Black communities, the average household income reportedly is around $35,000 annually, and you have technology careers, the incomes, the, the median income for technology careers is $78,000. Right there, we can make a big economic impact. And maybe you say, hey, look, I'm not Jay-Z or Beyonce. I don't have a whole lot of money to invest in tech. I'm not a math genius. How am I just going to get in tech? Listen to what I'm saying. Through the H-1B visa program, they are awarding hundreds of thousands of visas to people from India and different places. Now, there has been some changes in that program, but I just want to let you know that for several years, if not decades, people have been using that program to come and work in what they call uh, high-skilled industries like technology. The people of India saw this opportunity and they started you know, moving their children into tech spaces, into tech careers, into tech businesses. So we as Black people can do the same. Now the H-1B visa program, there have been some changes made that um, make it make it cost prohibitive for corporations to hire people on this H-1B visa program. However, the demand in technology is still very high and it's probably going to be higher now. And this is an area that black people can get involved in. You don't have to be a mathematician or a computer science uh, degree holder. And I talk about all of that either in, you can get the black tech guide Dot com get free information there or you can go on the website at blacktechlab.net and learn a lot about this but as you can see you know people look up to jay-z and beyonce and you know some people as a result of that they want to be a dancer they want to be a singer they want to be a rapper however when it comes to technology we have to take on that same same determination to say, hey, I see these people doing these things, I can do it too. Get inspired from that standpoint, you know, and just because they have a lot of money, that doesn't mean that you have to have a lot of money to get involved in tech because you can start where you are. You can get together with other people in your community or in your network or build a network. Again, you can get on uh, my platform and build a network with individuals that are there to collaborate and get the money together and bootstrap a tech company or like all of these things are at our fingertips. And that's why I'm so passionate about getting involved in technology because, you know, I had a family member who got in some trouble and was facing like 25 years in prison 
Khalif Browder, if he didn't plead and he went to trial, he was facing 15 years in prison. And if we as a family did not have the money to get uh, my family member, a lawyer, to really step in on his behalf, we had to travel and things like that, that, that could have been his story. You know, and, and I feel so bad for, for this young man. And I really feel bad that he says he had a family, but he could not raise in three years. They couldn't come up with $10,000 to get him out of Rikers Island. This is a, to me, that's a baby. 16? Ah, oh, I mean, and that's why I'm saying, you know, it's very important for the black community to look at every avenue of building economic strength. And we don't have really the time to be picky. <laughs> so, you know, and even if you are picky, you probably would still choose to get involved in technology. So anyway, guys, listen, I have links to the videos and the, um, the articles below. Hopefully you will find it interesting enough to tune in to Spike on March 1st and watch Time, the Khalif Browder story that I think is produced by Jay-Z. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the, the, the positive emails that you send. Thank you for connecting with me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.